You guys, we just finished antelope hunting. We're in the desert of Idaho. And for the last couple weeks, I've been using iPhones or Apple's new iOS satellite messaging. And I wanted to compare the two and let you guys know which one I think works better. In Wyoming, I had a harder time using the iOS Messenger. I'll go through and show you guys while I'm talking right now. Last night I used it and it worked a little better out here in the desert where there wasn't really anything obstructing the view or the satellite. It took about three minutes and 19 seconds to send a text and about, about the same to receive a text. Um, when you turn on your phone, it'll go into SOS mode, a satellite. Um, you'll click on the messaging. You'll say, do you want a satellite text message? Then you have to move your phone around to find the actual satellite. Once you find the satellite, you have to keep holding it there until it goes green and says connected. And then you have to keep holding it there while you're sending your message. One thing I did find out, I would type up my message before um, I would get connected. That way when it did hit connect, I'd hit send and it would, have, it would be a little quicker that way. Later last night, um, we got back here where there was really nothing around and I could send texts pretty fast back and forth and I could receive them a lot quicker. In Wyoming, it, took, it was a lot more of a headache. You had to sit there and find a place where there wasn't any trees and you would be connected to a satellite and then the satellite would go away. Um, I ended up using my inReach. So in my opinion, the inReach, I love that you were able to send a message and then just go about your day and it'll send it next time it gets connected. You don't have to sit there and hold it and point it at the actual satellite. So I think if you're in a place, deep canyons, big mountains, trees, all that kind of stuff. I still think the inReach is gonna be better than the iOS 18. This was just a beta test, so I downloaded the beta iOS 18, and so maybe they'll be coming out with better, um, better software, better messaging capabilities, but right now, out here, it works pretty good, but as far as if you want something a little more dependable, I still think the Garmin inReach is gonna be a little more dependable until they get that figured out to where maybe you don't have to be holding it and pointing it at that satellite the whole time. If you could just send a me or type a message and hit send and the next time it connects, it would just connect. Um, battery life, it did, did really didn't, I don't feel like it killed my battery really any faster. Right now, I don't believe there's any pricing on the satellite texting with iOS 18, I'll let you know if I get my bill and it's $100 more because I send these satellite texts. Um, I always keep my inReach and I leave it on the most basic plan, but then they just came out with some new plans where they're actually going to be a little cheaper too, which I think they're going to try to compete or get back and work a little tougher to make it uh, a better opponent, I guess, for this iOS 18 satellite texting. Um, so if you want to be more dependable works in pretty much everywhere you can send a message walk away leave it hooked to your bino harness leave it hooked to your backpack i still believe the ios is a little more dependable right now this like i said it took three minutes 19 seconds in the grand scheme of things that's not that long um but i still think the garmin in reach right now is better but it's pretty amazing that you're able to use your phone as a satellite communicator and text back and forth. Right now, you do have to send it to someone that has the iOS 18. So before we went to Wyoming, I had my wife Amber download the, download the iOS 18. That way I could send back and forth to her. You can't send to people that don't have the iOS 18. And I don't believe you can send it to anyone that doesn't have an iPhone. So if that's another downfall um, where this, with inReach, you can send to anyone. You can send to an email. Um, you can send to a lot more people with the Garmin inReach versus the iOS 18. But it's pretty awesome to be able to be sending this. It makes me wonder how far it is off before we can send a satellite call through our phones. Um, but pretty awesome. I, if you don't have an inReach, I mean, download the iOS 18 and use it. If you do have an inReach, I'm going to keep mine and keep my plan that I have and keep it going for this hunting season for sure, just to have that more dependability when we're hunting in tougher places. So right now, dependability goes to the Garmin inReach iOS 18, if you have, if you can upload to or upgrade to the iOS 18, I would definitely do it and test it and try it out. Like I said, in the desert out here, works pretty well. We are just waiting to get back. We ended up getting a flat tire, so we had to go get a spare tire, which is another reason why you'd want a satellite communication device. If anything happens, I mean, it is very awesome to have, it, to have the capability of communicating with someone where you don't have service. We shot some great bucks out here. Going to come on another video of the Icon Tour this upcoming, this upcoming year. And uh, that's kind of my thoughts on iOS 18 Silent Messenger and the Garmin in Reach.